Hi there, it's Katrina back again and this is going to be my first impressions of the Pewing Buffy stamping set. Um, this is just a quick shot of what I'm going to be showing you today in its little leather case. Hi there and today I'm doing my first face in the video video um, and I got this idea from Alicia from Fix Into Faff um, where she did a first impressions video of some mascara that she had. Now I'm going to do it, however I'm going to do it on the Pewin plates that I bought recently from Amazon. First things first, they came rather quickly which I was quite happy about and then when I opened it I saw that the carry case they said was included was this little pink leather feel carry case which I guess is really handy if you want to just grab it when you're on your way to mum's and stick it into your handbag and you can just take it with you then do your nails on the train that kind of thing now I was quite happy that it had um, the Pewin stamp on there it makes it look a little bit more professional if it, if it just that's my thought um, and I also like the fact that it was just a clip because I've seen some cases with zips and things and they're just not pretty at all um, once you've opened it there are it's like a CD case there's lots of little um, pockets shall we call them on either side now I was happy with these because you get different designs throughout the whole 24 piece set um, it's not just specifically swirls and flowers or it's not just other designs either you do get a lot of different things there's things like patchwork there are different plates with flowers and birds there's a lot of different things that you can do with these I've at first when I first used them I couldn't get them to work I, they were not doing what I wanted them to do at all now I know that I was using some different polishes that that work with my other plates from Moyu, um, but I don't know. At first, I thought it was my stamper needing primed. Then I thought maybe it's because I'm using a plastic scraper, and sometimes that doesn't work on different plates. However, I worked out that I think it's because I was sitting in a sunlit area and the plate was warm. Now, I'm not a professional, I can't say that this is exactly what went wrong, however, after I moved into a cooler area of the house and I gave them a good clean with some acetone, they worked perfectly. Now, I know that all my designs aren't exactly crisp, now that's because I'm not professional, like I said, I don't claim to know everything about stamping or painting nails in general. I have had no training whatsoever, however, saying that, I was very happy with these once I got them working. Now, once I got them working, I did realise that um, on my stamper the, the image wasn't exactly crisp with different kinds of polishes. Now, it all depends on the polish you're using. I would say that using an older kind of polish which has a thicker content to it will work better with stamping plates than a thin new polish which is you know no now I also suggest not using fast dry polishes because they just won't stamp they're a pain honestly um, and I found that actually my Moyu stamper and scraper do work with these I have the double-ended squishy stamper the XL one from Moyu and Whilst it is a bit of a pain because sometimes they do pop out or they, they go in squint and things when you're trying to stamp and they are a bit of a nonsense, they're a lot better than some of the ones I've seen advertised on the internet which just fall to pieces. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts on this. I really do like them and I am considering getting another set but I've also seen some bad reviews on Pewing. I didn't really look at the... I got these as a gift from my husband so... All the same, I didn't want them to be rubbish because he'd brought me a gift and things like that. But at the same time, meh. <laughs> but I really do like them. I have used them quite a bit since over the last few weeks. And I will include some of the photos that I've done with the stamping plates on my nails at the end. Um, these will all be featured onto my blog as and when 
they come into the schedule. Now, I really hope you like these. If you do buy them, link will be in the bit below. If you do tend to buy them, let me know what you think. If you've got any tips and tricks, I would love to know what you have thought would work. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye! Okay, so here you can see number 68 from the set and it is split into four different sections. Now, I find that these are very good if you've got longer nails, which I've recently cut mine, but um, they have a larger image for you to stamp from. Here you can see that there are more images. There's about six on this, five on this plate, sorry. Um, and they work really well and you can mix and match different areas of the plate to make different designs. This plate has several different designs again. It's number 52, I think. Um, and it it does everything that it basically says. It gives you perfect chevron-like designs on your nails when you want at small timing. This is one of the flower-like designs and it has all your swirly bits. So you can put a flower on your nails but you can also have the, the leaves and the petal kind of design around on other nails to make accents. Now here are some designs that I tried. This was without a base coat of colour polish beneath. This was just to test out, I think it was plate 52 that I just showed you, and I absolutely adored it. It was absolutely amazing. This is one of the designs, it, a few of these are for some challenges that I'm doing on my blog at the moment. Um, and this one was one of the first that I actually got to work with this Pewin set. And I adore it, the, the flowers on the, the nails. This is a newspaper design, which I always, I was a little bit nervous of using the newspaper and water technique to get newspaper designs. And this gives me a perfect alternative without having to do that. Um, here's my last design to show you. And it is, I can't remember what plate it's from, but it's basically just a swirly design. I mean, I could have used a different polish to get it more opaque, but I like the design I used. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.